Gamers, this is pro we saved best for last. I think it's best for last. Regarding the Civ changes, we got the new Malian changes that we're going to be testing with Senor Corvinus himself. He's in the lobby helping me test this, and I'm trying to find the changes. There they are. The biggest change, the two changes that happen is Saharan Trade Network and Arimba Garrison. So let's get into the game and I'm going to show you what exactly has been changed. The Balian Cow Boom is dead, but not really. Let me explain. There's going to be a few different potential metas with Malians. I think Malian 2TC is more viable now or it becomes more interesting. I think also that people will still do the cow boom, but without the uh, Fulani landmark or cows. So they're going to do it without it. Uh, just stay in feudal for now if you can. And I think that Farimba will most likely be very used unless the units are very bad, which we're about to find out. So first things first, Saharan Trade Network has been changed. So access at all... Uh, toll post that comes with defensive javelin emplacements. Can you send some units over here? I just want to see it how it is. So, it doesn't have arrow anymore. It has javelin and it does 11 damage plus 2 versus ranged. So this is how it works. Boom, boom, boom. What happens if I garrison units? Is it arrow attacks or javelins? Let me see. It's arrows. Okay, so the main attack is javelin, the rest is arrows, like, like normal. So, now it's changed, so this is a buff to the landmark. As you can see, the javelin is even hitting men at arm pretty hard, and it has the upgrades, which I don't have. So I can get all those. 11 damage, so if I upgrade all these, it has 12 damage now. So, it's hitting pretty decent amount, and I think the range has not changed. Now, what's another thing? The towers have been changed. So if you go for this landmark, the Saharan Trade Network, your towers also get a different upgrade. So you don't have the arrow slits anymore that you usually do. You get javelin emplacement that only costs gold. Now this is very interesting because... Go ahead, Corvinus. Go ahead, run in. So it has also 12 damage. It has the same damage as the Saharan Trade Network. 12 damage plus 2 versus ranged, which is quite a lot of damage on um, on a tower. So look at this. Boom. It's attacking pretty fast. Now, why is this in the game and why is this important potentially? It has more range than normal else. Error slit? Okay. Obvious. Because this upgrade costs only gold. And if you build the Saharan Trade Network, your trade does not only give gold, but it drops off food as well so what's important to note is um i don't know if trade will be uh, now viable finally with malian there's been periods where we were trying malian trade and it was kind of working but then people figured out and it's not really working well with this and the arrow slits costing gold becomes a lot easier for you to upgrade it so before you had to build a tower with wood and then you needed stone, and then you needed gold to upgrade it as well to arrow slits, right? But now it's very easy to get javelin emplacements, and they're stronger than arrow slits. So uh, it becomes a lot, a lot better and easier to use these towers to enable your trade. So I don't know if trade is going to be viable, but I am definitely going to try it, right? So if I get gold like this, I'm definitely going to try to make the Saharan trade network like maybe here between the two golds and do have a trade like this or something like that. Um, so we're gonna try it and maybe it's good, maybe it's not. So that's number one change that was changed. And if you go Manza Quarry, you do not get access to javelin emplacements, just to make sure everyone knows that. So what's the other change? The other change is Farimba Garrison. Farimba initially used to be meta with Malian, then it was Cow Boom, and now I think it might be back to Farimba. Oh, I didn't know this. Wait a minute. I didn't know this. I assume that you can still make units in Farimba. Oh, I didn't even think of this. So for I thought you can still make units with gold in it, but you cannot. So what Farimba does is you have three options. Freeborn Warriors, Manza Javelineers, or Manza Musafati. 
And you can only select one of these, right? And then you can select another one in Imperial. Oh, you can? Oh, you need to choose first. Okay, okay. So we're gonna choose the javelins because those seem the more interesting, the most interesting ones, and I think they're probably gonna be the strongest. This is me playing zero games. So Mansa javelins have more movement speed than normal javelin throwers and deal poison damage. So we're gonna make this. We're gonna get the upgrades. So javelin thrower deals twelve damage. Twelve plus eight and. Um, Movement speed is 125. So if you choose the Manza Javelin Throwers, this one does not get upgraded. Okay, so your old Javelin Throwers do not get upgraded. That's important to note. Okay, and this is the new one. Okay, that's interesting. So if you're going Manza Quarry from Feudal Age to Castle Age, if you have a stack of Musafaris or Javelin Throwers, you will not be upgrading your old ones into the new ones, which is pretty big, to be honest. So what is the difference between these two? 90 health versus 80 health, 138 movement speed. Oh, they're a lot. Oh my God, they're zooming, dude. Look at this. They are zooming. Okay, they're fast as fuck, boy. They have 12 plus 8 damage, same thing, but they have poison javelins, which is basically, I think, exactly the same, actually, like poison arrows, right? 3 damage over 6 seconds, 3 damage over 6 seconds. Okay, so your javelins now have poison um, javelin on them, and if you choose the unit, you also can produce it from normal archer ranges, which is very important to know. So you don't have the normal javelins anymore, you have these new Manza Javelineers. Oh, okay, so there, yeah, there's not... The chat was calling me out that I'm dented that you can that you can make stuff from this. What I meant is make stuff with gold, by the way. So once you choose it, you can also make it here, which means you can probably hotkey like this. Yeah, you can hotkey it with archer range. Um, let me see something. Is the production time the same? 17 seconds. 28 seconds? What? Wait, why the fuck does it get... Why is it so much slower? What the hell? That makes no sense. If it was opposite, I would get it. That that does make sense. Um, But okay. Let me see how good these jabs are. Can you bring two knights? Fuck, I wish I had all javelins made as well. Dude, they are fast. Like, look at this. HRE archers have a movement speed of 138. <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely gonna go javelins. I haven't even seen the other two units, but th this is like crazy good. So javelins are already actually pretty decent against men at arms because they have high damage. Um, yeah. So give me, give me one more knight. Let me just attack it with 15. Just one, just one, just one. Yeah, it's dying in two shots. So if I shoot this guy, and then I shoot it again, that's dead, right? Yeah. That is pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the 20... Okay, the... the 28 seconds used to produce a batch of 5 units, because I also have military academy, so maybe that's why. No stack limit? Was it what is it supposed to stack to five? Damn! Yeah, I don't know if this is bugged. It's an eight stack. Yeah, so what Corvinus is saying is if I wait, let me see something. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay, come here to, to my archers. So let me see. If I shoot... Yeah, 
It definitely stacks. Yeah, it stacks. I don't... This is not how this works. So what you're, what's supposed to happen, and Corvinus can correct me, if I shoot now, this is supposed to refresh. But it's not refreshing, it's adding on top of that. Which means that each shot now is doing additional 3 damage over 6 seconds. Right? Yeah. So if I shoot with all of these, it's just gonna kill the unit, no? Damn, that was like 80, 90 damage in fucking poison. What the fuck? It has always worked that way? No, it has not. Okay, just just aim move into me. I archers did not do this. Am I am I insane? Archers did not do this much damage to men at arms. This is how okay. This is how it was originally when Malian came out. This is how it was. And then it was changed, so the stack is max at eight. Am I wrong? I just killed what 10 15 men at arms with 20 more archers? I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure you cannot kill 15 men at arms with archers that easily. Yeah, I don't remember that either, and I played a lot of this game. Even if you get poison archers, they don't kill men at arms. They they deal with it better, but they don't kill them. So I know everyone in chat is saying this is how it always worked, but I'm gonna trust me and Corvinus on this. I don't know about this. I'm I'm genuinely not sure. But anyway, let's continue. Uh, we can test that another time. So javelin throwers, the Manza ones seem really good. Um, I don't know what the other ones do exactly, which we're gonna test in a second. Uh, let me just age up Corvinus. Let's go grid bar, and then I'm gonna reset the game so we can get the other one. So now when you age up to Imperial, you can get another um, another one of these. Freeborn Warriors or Mansa Musafati. Let's go for the Freeborn Warriors. So, fast melee with high ranged armor and bonus against range. Damn, they got five armor. Wait, they have. Wait, wait, wait. Do they have five armor in feudal? Wait, sorry, in castle? So they have 11 damage plus four versus ranged. If I upgrade them. Okay, they have five armor with the upgrade too. Oh no, they're different. Never mind. Oh, they, they, that's just the castle version. Okay, they're not Musafati. Okay. They, oh yeah, they get added. I read that. They get added to the barracks. So this is their, this is their thing. 90 food and 35 gold. So very food heavy, quite a bit. So they have five ranged armor, which is basically Mali and men at arm, but then they have zero melee armor. And they're supposed to counter range. So I guess you're supposed to use them to flank and attack. Let me see, compared to normal, normal uh, Musafati warrior, I want to compare their stats. Beast and world shake. So these guys do like mega damage versus heavy. These guys do um, damage bonus versus range, but it's only four. But they do have a lot of ranged armor and they have 55 health more than Musafati warriors. So they're quite, quite tanky. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, they're apparently now counting as light infantry, but they're not supposed to, right Corvinus? They're supposed to be like the, uh, the bold monks. They're supposed to be just units. Um, but they're counting as light, I think. So I'm assuming that's going to be fixed. Um, so the interesting thing is horsemen usually counter ranged, like with high armor. 
And then you have Spearman to counter the Horseman. But in this case, these guys have high ranged armor. So what are you supposed to kill them with? I guess like Spearman and Man at Arm, but that kind of feels weird because neither of those units have bonus versus melee. So that's, I think these guys are going to be very strong too. 11 damage per hit. Like, they're also not going to be terrible against melee units. You don't want them versus melee units, but they're not going to trade terrible. The double strike works on them as well? Okay. Yeah, that's quite good then. Okay, so if we upgrade Musafadis, elite Musafadis still have less health than them. Let's upgrade the Freeborn Warriors. Seven ranged armor! Damn! And if we get the blacksmith upgrades, they have eight ranged armor. That is wild. Fifteen plus seven damage. Can we? Uh, can you give me ten archers? No university upgrades. I don't have them either. Let's fight five versus ten. I'm not I'm not gonna stealth. Just uh you can just A move. I'm not gonna stealth. If you stealth you're gonna get Wait what? Oh right 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 okay okay so I'll explain why they're doing so much damage. So this is the part that it's not supposed to work like this. So they're melee infantry, but they're not they are now taking damage is as if they're light melee infantry yeah so they're not supposed to be taking this much damage is the main point okay let's try crossbow okay let me do let me do five versus crossbow i was like what the fuck is taking damage and i remembered yeah, you can see crossbows are doing less damage than the archers did. And crossbows has have higher base damage, so... Yeah. Damn, they fucking... This 5 versus 10, right? Yeah, they're definitely, uh... Very good. And obviously, they're gonna butcher the archers even more, by the way. Because archers should be doing... What, 10? Wait, archers are gonna do one damage? Damn, bitch! Okay, with incendiary, can you get incendiary? Incendiary should be 12, right? So now I'm doing 25 damage a hit. Yeah, so with all upgrades, archers are gonna be doing 2 damage per hit. And now I have 7 melee armor and 10 ranged armor. I think these guys are pretty good, especially in this whole ranged meta. Maybe, maybe it's gonna be like, maybe this is gonna be the new Zug Zug strat. You just go mass Donzos and little Freeborn Warriors. And then some Musafadis. And you just run by everywhere. That's interesting. Let's, uh, let's remake. I wanna try the, the third unit. So you can only, by the way, you can only pick two of these three you cannot have all three in the same game that's important to know but realistically depending which city you play against you're also not gonna need all three right you're probably gonna like know which one you want if you're playing against english you're probably gonna want javelin throwers you know especially in this patch you're probably gonna want javelin throwers Okay, so Freeborn and, and uh, Javelineers, we used those already. Let's go with the Enlist Manza Musafadi. These are the Manza Musafadis, and what the fuck is their difference? I have no idea, let's make them. Are they do they just have melee armor? That's their thing? <laughs> they got more HP too. But how much more HP do they have? They have 125. Wait, how much did I have earlier with Musafadis? 110. I mean, I'ma be honest. Corvinus, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but... Why the fuck would you go for this when the other two are an option? 
Gas is 110. Yeah, why the fuck would you go for this? What the fuck you need melee armor for? Versus HRE? Uh, HRE is not gonna be messing men at arms and spearmen, brother. Better against knights? Uh, Malian kills knights pretty easily. Yeah, I don't think you're ever gonna go there. I don't- I- Like, if this was pre- like, if these units were in the live game, you would go this against HRE, for sure, to like, further counter them and fuck them in the ass, right? But, why would you go this in the new patch, where all the infantry is nerfed, and range units and cavalry are run a lot better? Yeah, I think so too. I think both- I actually think both versions should have gotten ranged armor. Or this one should have maybe gotten like even plus two plus two or something. Not getting soft counter by spearmen or horsemen? Uh, Musafati warriors kill a lot of melee units already for, for its cost. Like they have a pretty high DPS. Yeah, I think this is like a no-brainer guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm trying to think. These two units are kind of the same thing. These two units... I'm not sure if I like how they did this. I like the idea, but I'm not sure if I like the execution of this, right? Because... Yeah, versus Ghulam, they're better. That is true. That is maybe the only matchup where I would go for them. Versus Ghulam, because the... Four armor basically double screws with Ghulams, right? Because Ghulam attacked twice. Yeah, may that's a good point. Maybe versus Ghulam. And on a Bugatti, is true. Okay, against Japanese I can see it. And maybe against Ghulams. But I like the idea, I don't like the execution. Because this is um, anti me This is just a Musafati with melee armor, right? Which is kind of boring. These two are more exciting, but the problem is both of these things counter the same thing. I kind of wish that this didn't exist at all. Musa, uh, Mansa Musafati. I wish that these guys were added as they are. Maybe give them one melee armor and like three ranged armor instead of just four ranged armor. And then the third option to be Donzos. Like Elite or... You know, Manza Donzos to do something. Because I, I feel like these two overlap quite a lot. And then this one is just kind of weird. Like, I'm trying to think, in what matchups would you not go Javelins in Castle? Because even if you're fighting, like, like I showed earlier. Even if you're fighting against Knights, the Javelin throwers have high base damage. And with Poison, they're going to do okay. Even versus Men at Arms and, and Knights now. And then you just counter the range units, which will most likely become the meta in this patch. So, ja Javelin's kind of seem the obvious choice for a lot of this. Because we shouldn't think about this, how the game is right now. We should think about how the game will be. And the game will be very ranged units and calorie focused. And, uh... Maybe defending with, like, Donzo basic Javelin into Menza plus Poison Javelins and then upgrading Donzos is gonna be the play. Because then you kind of counter everything, and if the enemy makes men at arms, you can just mass Musafadis to accompany them. Also, the question is, if you're a castle and you have Javelin throwers, would you ever transition to Archers with Poison? If you have Javelins with Poison, wouldn't you just keep making... Poison Javelins instead? Why would you go Archers? How big of a difference is it? So the Poison is the same, right? We're looking at the raw stats. Javelins? Okay, so Archers are obviously better versus Hand Cannoneers, right? Wait, do Javelins lose their bonus versus Hand Cannoneers? Or no? I don't know how that works because Hand Cannoneers get changed, right? So archers would be obviously better against spearmen, but you're not going to be if you make donzos, the enemy's not going to make spearmen. If the enemy makes men at arms, I'm pretty sure javelins are going to be better. But I actually am not 100% sure. Now, 
Archers might be better in DPS versus men at arms, but if you have Donzos and the enemy switches to men at arm archer, it's better for you to have javelins than to have archers against both. If that makes sense. Yeah, obviously if you go sofa, archers are better. Yeah. Poison for archers is better if you micro javelins is better DPS wise. Yeah, I kind of feel that too. It's not only DPS wise, it's, it's javelins block out like a whole they, they block all the range units. Archers only do bonus damage versus Janissers. Oh yeah, the Janissers are now light... Um, whatever it's called, light... Gunpowder infantry. Oh yeah, and Javelins get movement speed. That's a good point. So Javelins also get movement speed, so you can kite a lot easier. They get 138 versus 125 from the Archers. That's very interesting. But another thing that I forgot to mention... Is archers in Imperial? Let me see this. Give me a second. So let's go Mansa Javelineers. So I have 5 damage, 13 poison. The Javelins do 19 plus 13 versus ranged. And they have higher movement speed. They have lower attack speed, which is obvious. Now, another thing that happens... You get this. Do Javelins gain anything with this? I'm assuming not. Range is 5 and 6. If I upgrade this... Range is 7 and 6. So Archers have more range. That's kind of interesting. But I think I still prefer Javelins. I'm not gonna lie. Javelins have 8 ranged armor. I think modeling is gonna be pretty, pretty cool. Because you can go for a lot of different options, right? You can go for... I don't know. This needs to be... Mali needs to be tested the most because... Number one, maybe Malian trade is possible. Number two, two TC Malian might become more... Um, not better, but it might become more of an option. Check stat for Musifati. Uh, okay, let me juice him up. I mean, okay, it's got 12 melee armor, but it's like, do you kill me? Like, I don't know. This is with the first strike. So with the first strike, you hit 48. Which is, I mean, it's cool, but so does normal Musafati, right? Yeah, I think this one is the most disappointing out of the three. The other two are going to be a lot better, in my opinion. In my opinion. But well, we'll see. So, you're going to have potential trade. Potentially, 2TC will become more interesting. Because before, uh, you... If you went cow boom, you cannot go for Remba. Because it makes no sense. You have all this food, so you want to go for the Fulani. Right? You didn't go... In a weird way, Fulani is good. But you also didn't go Fulani because Fulani is just godlike compared to Farimba. It just doesn't make sense, right? Because you have all this food, so you want to go... Fulani to kind of dive into that because if you go for Rimba then you're using a lot more gold so people some people experimenting with it but not really 2TC can now support for Rimba and a lot of production a lot better and I think that Malian will still most likely I might be wrong but I think Malian will still go for the cow boom right you're just not going to uh, what's it called? You're just not gonna make Fulani. You're gonna go cow boom into Farimba. At least that's what I'm gonna try to do. So if you have a TC right here, let's say this is my main TC, right? You don't need to do the the thing like this and then put Fulani here. Now what you can do is just put cows around your town center. Like this. So your cows can also be more protected. Which is... which is interesting. So now you can do something like this, right? And then all your cows are gonna be... super protected. Under the main TC. And then after that you age up to Farimba, you unlock new units, and then the production... Um, what's it called? The production that you had in Feudal, you will still get value from it by making Jav or you know by getting these new 
Put in by units. The question is, would you do you do you would you ever use Sofa? Because I feel like the synergy with Sofa fell off quite a bit, right? Yeah, cows have less food, sure, but so did the villagers gathering on farms, right? Which is another reason why I think 2TC Malian might be very interesting because you don't need more villagers to support the same economy as you used to have. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think like when would when would you go cavalry? Can you go cavalry with any of these? I mean, I guess you can go for the You could potentially do like the Zug Zug strat, which is uh, you know the Malian meta where you go like Mass Musafari and Scouts and you just just run everywhere like you hit here with 30 units here with 30 units maybe the meta one of the things you can do is oh and like with some sofas maybe the meta is gonna be you go like the the, the first guy and you make musafari warriors that first guy and scouts and sofas and you just go everywhere and then in the imperial you go for this guy and then you just mix in musafari warriors in the freeborn and that's like you just fucking spam units everywhere i don't know i guess we're gonna have to see there's a lot of weird changes coming, so it's gonna depend quite a lot what what ends up happening, I think. But that's pretty interesting. And also, maybe there's a werewolf where you open Saharan trade network on your gold, you rush castle with cows. Like you try to go fast castle with cows, zero units, for Rimba, and then you spam javelins. That might be a thing too, because the javelins will absolutely the the Parimba javelins will absolutely murder every feudal unit. That might become a thing too, because now they're faster. One three eight, you can kind of move around the map as well. And even if you can't, you can just make barracks and add some donzos to cover for them, and then they can just kite everything else. We'll see. Either way, I think this makes Malian a lot more interesting, and maybe it's gonna make it more diverse in terms of unit comp but i am pretty sure the style for malian will revolve around cows into farimba it just how to get there is what we're gonna have to figure out what the best way is right wait i want to see wait i want to see that too i want to see javelin movement speed with sofa yeah, 158. Holy fuck. Sofas have 173 movement speed. Look at their movement speed. Those are ranged units, by the way. I mean, this also fits into the whole, like, Malian is supposed to, you know, gank from the woods and forests and shit like that, right? Roleplay. You're faster than Onas, really? Holy fuck, that's crazy. Love that. Love that. Alright, thank you Corvus for helping me out, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, Corvus has a YouTube channel, by the way, if you guys didn't know. He's a chat, he's a gamer, he has a Twitch channel, he has a coaching channel. Or not coaching channel, but he coaches. So check him out, because he's a chat. I appreciate the help, brother. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I think that's all I wanted to test with Malian. Very, very interesting stuff, and like I said, we're gonna be having, uh, we're gonna have to test a lot of these in the real games, because this is all just theory crafting that I'm sharing with you guys, like, I'm not here to tell you exactly how things are gonna be, uh, this is all me theory crafting based on what I'm seeing. Atrio with damage and horse and beats Gazi, kick Devlin. I mean, that makes sense, the three damage is quite a lot. Anyway. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Check me out tomorrow with another video. Twitch gamers, let's keep going.